uh, three months ago we ended up buying some chestnut seeds and because we wanted to grow our own chestnut trees so we've done that before and we wanted to do that again so as soon as we got those seeds we we put them in some uh, some damp peat moss and put them in these Rubbermaid containers and then we put them into the refrigerator so that they could cold stratify and that basically simulates kind of the winter times it's something that the nut needs to go through to be able to grow a tree so today we're gonna we're gonna go through these containers and, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look for some bad bad chestnuts so when the chestnut goes bad it will uh, it'll have a white fungus that kind of forms on the outside of the nut and we're gonna get uh, that out of there and then any of that fungus we can find in the peat moss we're gonna get that out as well and then we're gonna see if any of these nuts are starting to to turn into trees so what we're gonna be, we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna be looking for a taproot so there'll be a little taproot that'll form um, out of the end of the nut as the tree starts to grow and uh, once we start seeing those tap roots form we know that it's about time to start putting uh, these nuts into pots so that we can start growing our trees so we'll go ahead get these opened up and start checking them so here's all the nuts out of the first container all of them look all of them look really good except one I've got one here and it's just starting to get the white fungus you can see this white film that'll get super thick when it builds up and this is just starting on this chestnut right here so this one if it gets this fungus on there we gotta just throw that one away or it'll spread to all the other seeds we're gonna go ahead and just put these all back just spacing them out so that they don't touch each other I haven't seen any tap roots yet so it's still a little early So with these containers being clear, sometimes you can see the mold from the outside and I've actually got a white spot right here on the side. So I know there's a bad nut in that spot. But as I look through the rest of this container, I don't see any from the outside. And I don't see any white mold on top. So definitely know there's a probably a bad one in this corner. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. This chestnut right here, you can't hardly see it, but it's got a little bit of white fungus right there. There's a little bit of white fungus on the back. One of the telltale signs is the dirt. The dirt likes to stick to the fungus and it doesn't like to fall off. And you'll find chestnuts that are completely covered in a, a, a bunch of dirt and the dirt don't want to fall off clean like these. And that's the ones that are bad. Oh man, another tap root. This one's a good one. And another tap root. And another tap root. I don't know where this one was in the fridge, but man. And another one. We got a lot of plants. We've got definite trees growing in this one. Okay, so this chestnut right here. That dirt's sticking to it. So that's probably got fungus under there. It's just starting to get fungus on the outside of the nut. It's getting that white coating. So, another bad one. So in this container right here, we have two bad chestnuts that are starting to grow fungus on them. And we've got at least a third of the nuts have a taproot. So here is what the taproot looks like. See how it's growing out of the shell? And that taproot will automatically go down with gravity. So if that nut was sitting in there like that, that taproot's heading downward. Same with, same with that one, you can see it curling down. 
and there's a bunch of them here that are just just starting to come out of the shell you see this one the, the shell is split and it's just starting to come out so there's a bunch in here that are that are already growing taproots so that's good So in this container we only had one bad seed and um, there's a few of them that look like this. I don't know if you can see but the end of the nut is splitting open but there's no tap root yet. So I didn't find any tap roots in this one um, but there is some that's getting ready to start forming a tap root. So we'll go ahead and, and put these back in the container. So when we checked the chestnuts this time, we ended up finding four that uh, were bad. They had like uh, the white fungus film that started growing on them and we caught them pretty early actually. Um, if, if they go long enough, that, that white fungus will get thicker and thicker and it'll start going throughout the peat moss and it'll spread to other nuts. So we definitely caught it early. It wasn't, it was more of a light film. Um, so that's the way you want to catch it. You want to catch it before it really starts spreading. And um, so we had uh, four this time, one a previous time, so we've had a total of five chestnuts that we found bad. And there was, a, I think, 88 chestnuts when we started this batch. So we ought to be down to about 83, and that's a pretty good percentage. That's way better than I've done uh, in the past. Um, so we've done a few things differently this year. It seemed to have helped. Um, we did use a damp peat moss instead of... Before we used like a, a damp potting soil, so the peat moss seemed to do uh, a lot better. And then when the seeds arrived, um, we didn't let them sit sit around. We we immediately got them in the in the peat moss and put them in the fridge so they could be cold uh, as soon as possible. So if, hopefully that's uh, the reasons why we're having better luck this year. One of these uh, trays did have way more tap roots than the other ones. It had about a third of the nuts had tap roots. And a lot of the other ones in that tray, you could tell were, were getting close uh, to forming a taproot. Uh, the end of the nut was starting to open up. So the only thing I can take from that is maybe one side of the refrigerator is colder than the other. Um, but I don't know any other reason why one tray would do better than the other. Maybe it had to do with the moisture content in the peat moss. But uh, anyway, that, the only thing that that shows is we're doing good. The trees are... are uh, are starting to form and we're gonna so hopefully like a month from now instead of uh, having only you know like 15 that have a tap root we'll hopefully we'll come back and we'll have you know close to 40 or so with a tap root uh, already forming and then that's probably good enough to go ahead and start planting the seeds so we're gonna go ahead and just put these back in the fridge and then we'll just have to wait another month to check them again